After being grilled on Capitol Hill, Goldman's CEO Lloyd Blankfein sat down with CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis, who joins us this morning from Washington. Rebecca, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. And after his testimony revealed that he did not believe any Goldman Sachs investments were designed to fail, Lloyd Blankfein, the chief executive of Goldman Sachs, sat down with me to discuss ethics. In your view, nothing unethical has occurred under your jurisdiction at Goldman Sachs and nothing illegal has occurred. Can you say that unequivocally? I think that's a broad statement about a firm with 35,000. It is my belief that nothing unethical and nothing illegal has happened. But I will tell you, if I discovered something like this or if any senior person at Goldman Sachs discovered illegal or unethical behavior, we would uh, eliminate that from the firm. Would you consider stepping down if it happened under your nose? Uh, it, again, we're a big firm. We would just have to, uh, and we police ourselves. In terms of your obligation, in today's testimony, you talked a lot about obligations to clients. Do you think there is a larger moral imperative, a greater obligation to the good of this country for Goldman Sachs to pursue? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. We could not exist without the goodwill of the societies in which we operate. And we take that uh, very, very seriously. And in your case, the bailout funds, for example, went to Goldman Sachs, among other banks. Uh, uh, that's correct. Uh, if you look at how we operate, that we work among our most important clients, our governments, both state and local, and f for that matter, the federal government and other governments around the world. No, no, that's very, that's very, very important. And we care a lot. And if you look at Goldman Sachs, you can see that a lot of our alumni, in fact, go into government service when they're done with their career at Goldman Sachs. Lloyd Blankfein also told me in that interview that he believes that the regulatory landscape for Wall Street is changing and that his firm, among others, will have to adapt. Maggie? And what did he say about his expectation for financial reform? Well, Maggie, he said he expects that new consumer protections need to be brought on board and that, among other things, also standards for how much debt banks can keep on their books will be very important to maintaining the system. It's interesting because in his testimony, he said that Goldman Sachs, among a number of organizations, failed to sound the alarm bells throughout the crisis when he believed and many believed they should have done a better job of that and hope to do a better job of that in the future. As we know, the SEC is investigating a number of banks, but Goldman is currently the only one facing fraud charges. Did Blankfein say whether he felt singled out? I asked him about this, Maggie, because Goldman Sachs, like you said, is the only company that is currently facing these fraud charges, but he sounded assured that perhaps other banks would face them in the future. And he also said that he wasn't completely certain of what was happening in terms of who was being looked at, but he was certain that this has been a long investigation by the SEC and that he anticipates it will continue to go on well beyond Goldman Sachs, Maggie. Rebecca Jarvis, thank you for that interview. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.